Hi, thank you for stopping by. In my previous video, I discussed my personal story and how hypnosis helped me to finally get relief for some of the very severe symptoms of complex PTSD. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you what hypnosis is and what are some of the benefits of hypnosis. And you're going to see me. I'm reading little parts of it because I'm sharing something that I want to make sure that it's accurate. So are you struggling with anxiety, phobias, maybe phobia of driving, phobia of going to a doctor's office, or maybe you're just not able to sleep and you are not alone. And actually right now, we are experiencing mental health pandemic. And according to recent statistics by Mental Health America, almost 20% of adults are experiencing mental illness, which is equivalent to nearly 50 million Americans. And almost 5% are experiencing a severe mental illness, which includes PTSD. And what we know now that hypnosis actually works. So hypnosis has become an evidence-based modality and research shows many benefits, including habit change, such as weight loss, smoking sensation, um, insomnia, anxiety, and changing some of the habits or what's even more important, changing some negative beliefs. For example, hypnosis plays an important part in the treatment of anxiety disorders. I'm reading from a research study that applying hypnosis allows the patients to reach a lower level of anxiety symptoms. And overall, the findings suggest that the mix of cognitive behavioral therapy and hypnotherapy model is highly viable treatment in case of anxiety disorders. And I actually put a link right there for you to read more about it. And there are many, many more studies about this. So my name is Mary and over 20 years, I helped survivors of childhood abuse and trauma to become unstuck, heal and thrive, incorporating traditional cognitive behavioral therapy with NLP, hypnosis and energy medicine. So now let's talk for a minute, what is hypnosis? So first I'm gonna just read you a few definitions and then I'm gonna share with you my take on it. So the first definition comes from Dave Allman, who was one of the pioneers in the field of hypnotherapy. And according to him, hypnosis is the bypass of the critical faculty of the conscious mind and the establishment of acceptable selective thinking in the subconscious mind. So we're gonna talk about this a little bit later, but basically what he's referring to the critical factor is actually our logical rational mind, um, whose job is to make sense of our environment using five senses. And when we bypass that critical factor, we are able to go deep inside because the critical mind is not gonna say, hey, you know, I don't know what this is. This is really silly. You know, I don't think this works and similar. And Milton Erickson, the father of modern hypnotherapy and psychiatrist defines hypnosis as a state of intensified attention and receptiveness and increased responsiveness to an idea or a set of ideas. And finally, the last definition comes from my teacher and instructor my hypnosis training, Jason Lynette. He talks that hypnosis is a natural process in which your mind is more receptive to positive suggestion, insight, and releasing negative feelings. It's your mind's ability to rapidly integrate new skills, strategies, and strength. So a professional hypnosis practitioner can help you to take control of your life, your habits, your behaviors, and your feelings. And by the way, we're gonna be doing some experiential exercises so you can really experience what hypnosis is. So stay tuned. 
So in simple terms, you have already experienced hypnosis. You may not be aware of that, but you know, anytime you're like driving a car and you're not paying attention, right? You're like autopilot and you could just lose yourself because your subconscious mind is helping you because you learned everything that you needed to learn how to operate a car. You don't have to think about it anymore. Similarly, let's say you find yourself watching a movie and you really get into the movie and the characters, right? Maybe it's a sad movie and you even start shedding some tears. Again, you're using your, your imagination and subconscious mind. Or maybe just reading a book and really identifying with the characters. You, you basically feel for them what they are feeling. So in our subconscious mind, we store all the positive as well as negative experience beliefs. So our subconscious mind is in charge. So that's why sometimes we are trying to change something with our will and you know, convincing ourselves, rationalizing. Unfortunately, unfortunately, subconscious mind is always gonna win. And that's why it's so important that we understand our negative beliefs and our triggers, where they are coming from. And what's a good news with, with unlike in therapy, many of my clients who suffer PTSD, you don't necessarily need to go back. You can heal by focusing your positive resources, wisdom, skills that you have learned. And um, so during hypnosis, there, there are some misconceptions because some people are afraid that, um, you know, I'm going to lose control or this person is going to make me tell my secrets or, you know, I'm not going to be able to wake up. So all these are myths because actually what we do in hypnosis, we are able to help you focus even more by focusing on certain images or phrases and Sometimes you may not be even aware what I'm saying, but in the end, you're gonna feel, most clients report that feeling relaxed, feeling you know, more optimistic. And there are many other benefits. And unfortunately for those of us who grew up in dysfunctional homes, many of us, we have a lot of these negative programs, negative beliefs, and while as children, we were not able to do anything about it. We also didn't understand. But now as adults, especially with hypnosis, we can change some of those beliefs. Many of my clients have a belief, I'm not good enough. So we can go in subconscious mind and replace this belief. For example, I'm more than good enough and I deserve to be treated with love and respect. So if you use traditional therapy or similar techniques is going to take much longer. I know that some of my clients have been in therapy for 20 years or more and still getting very, very limited results. So um, that's why hypnosis works. And for example, let me tell you a story and a case study, actually. So I recently worked with a client who has a fear of phobia of needles. And she had this all her life because she saw her cousin basically injecting heroin and he died. And even though she, she doesn't have any visual memories, but her body remembers, her muscles remember what it means to be afraid of needles. There is also fear of death. And in spite of being in therapy for a long time, she was not able to get relief until she did hypnosis with me. And only after two sessions, she noticed a huge progress. For example, before that, she wouldn't be even able to hear the word needle. She would right away have the image, which would create this panic state, disgust, and she has not been able to see doctors. And now she just told me that she's actually looking forward to her medical procedure. So, this is amazing shift and this can happen for you as well. So you wanna give it a try? Great. So 
this is just a very simple exercise. And all you have to do, I want you to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just notice by just that how much more relaxed your body is starting to feel. And now, with your eyes closed, if you're comfortable, just imagine you find yourself in your kitchen and you open the fridge and you see there is a lemon, bright yellow lemon right on the top of the fridge. And you take that lemon and you take your favorite cutting board and a knife and you slice this lemon in a tiny wedges. And I want you to notice what's happening right now, what sensations you're experiencing. Perhaps you notice salivation. And if you notice salivation, it means that you are a great candidate for hypnosis. You didn't have to learn how to do this by just telling you the image, not even the real lemon, just by telling you, imagine this lemon, your subconscious mind responds. So if this resonates with you, go ahead and schedule your free consultation. Just a note, a typical hypnotherapy sessions are about 70 to 90 minutes sometimes. Right now, what I'm offering is to give you a, you know, a try. I'm offering a 30 minutes hypnosis session for stress relief, just for $97. If you're not quite ready, you can sign for my newsletter. When we post in this video, so you can go subscribe to my YouTube channel or join my Facebook group or I'm gonna also discuss in the benefits of hypnosis and sharing case studies and videos like this one. Again, thank you for stopping by and I look forward to meeting you soon. Take care.